So this is a quick video just to show you how you can load new fonts or textiles within 12D. 12D is shipped when you install 12D with a number of different font styles, textiles loaded. But you can hear, see here I've got a Roman C and a Roman S, but there's actually a couple more that I need. Now this does arise occasionally basically because of bringing in title sheets from CAD and trying to match those in 12D and make those in 12D where 12D might not actually have some of those text fonts. So if you just type in the command style, you can see that down the bottom here. Just type in the word style and enter, it actually opens up a dialog box within CAD and you can see here all the textile names that are currently being used. And there's a Roman D, a Roman T, which we don't have in 12D at the moment. And they're just referring to some shape files or the fonts that we need to load in within 12D. You do also have to be aware that they might, sometimes might call the textile name in CAD um, a different name, even though it's got Roman C as the font type, they've actually called it Romantic. So when you're exporting out or writing out, what do we know to basically write that into? So they'd actually have to call it the word Romantic rather than actually mapping it out as Roman C. So that'll, that'll come up as well, and I'll show you how that works as well. Um, but it's just something to be aware of when things don't match up correctly when you're exporting out of 12D and trying to put it back into CAD. So now we know we need a, a Roman D and a Roman T. Coming back into 12D, looking at all the font types, I come up to the little T here, gives us all our textiles, and you can see there's a number of different aerials in there, but coming down I've got Roman C and Roman S, and I need to load a couple more. So there's two ways to get into the dialog panel. You could have come up to the main menu under project, and you're looking in the tree here. This gives you a whole bunch of information about your actual current project that you're in. And one of the options there is for looking at the textiles themselves here and gives you a list of them all there. If you wanted to add a new one, we can create the textile and actually, this will actually open up the correct dialog box for you. Just double click on that one there. Or a little bit quicker way to come into it is just to go straight onto the word edit here open it, it gets you straight into the dialog box as well. So you can see as it comes up at the moment, it comes up with the current list there, and then we get to load in a new font type. So obviously I want to load one in that's going to be called Roman T. So I'm going to select the Roman C one, because I, I can call this whatever I want, but I am going to give it, keep it the correct name. And these are the different font types we can tr choose, the, either the true type font, uh, the shape files, and, and load those in as well. So we need to know the right um, font type that we have, a Roman C there, or I'm going for Roman T. Um, give it a name, so you can see that again, this is the name that 12D is going to show, and I'm going to keep it very simple and keep everything lined up with the same name. And then I need to tell 12D where that shape file is. Now this shape file is currently in the working directory, it's probably not the best place to keep it but that's just simply how easy it is. This is what I was talking about before when we actually read data in, like a DWG file, what it's going to come in as. So out of the DWG, 12D might actually remap a Roman C to be Roman T. It gets a little bit confusing. So we'd probably, again, keep everything nice and lined up. So they've all got the same naming convention, either a DWG, sorry, a, DW, a DXF, a DWG, and then also what to do with a, a, a DGN or a microstration one as well. That's it, we basically just set that, and if we're happy with that, we would write it out. As I said, the other one we were looking for was a, was a Roman D, so I'm going to do the same thing, um, and put a Roman D in there, and call it Roman D, but this file, where I'm actually going to read it into, and it's probably better to do this, is actually to read it in out of the user or the user library. Now, I tend to use keep the shape files in the user directory so that users can't see them when they, they just go finding them. It's a bit hidden away. But either way, I'm going to have to browse for the file and, and load that in. So I'm just coming in to see 12D, the current version I'm in, under the user directory there. And you can see I've got my Roam and my shape file is loaded there. So I load that in, but you see you do get the full path of where my user directory is, which is fine. If it's going back onto the server, you might actually want to put a dollar user in front of it, so that way you can actually put the user directory anywhere. It might be on the server for the company. But again, I'd be looking for this Roman D to come down and looking for when I read things in to keep it all named correctly when it comes into 12D and also export out to the DWG DXF files as well. So you set that, write the file out. Again, you can see I've, the font file that came from 12D didn't have the Roman T and D in it. So basically, yeah, I've created those now, but I'd probably write it into the current folder and retest it, restart 12D. And then when I'm happy with it, I'd then move those, these two files to my user directory. Restart 12D again, and just make sure it works correctly. So I'm just gonna finish that off, finish the panel and restart 12D and see if they come up in the list. So I've restart 12D now, and you can, if I come back to the fonts here, Coming down, you can see now I've got Roman C, Roman D, 
S and T. So they've all been loaded in correctly and they're all now available for my text and placing text within 12D. You'll see that the files that were actually generated or when I wrote that into the working directory was this fonts.4D file and the textiles.4D file. They're very similar files, they're just text files so you can actually open them in, in Notepad or Notepad++ whatever you like to use as an editing format there. And you can see down the bottom here, I've got the Roman and the Roman D. And again, see how it's actually put the full path in there? I'd probably replace that with the dollar sign, just so that when 12D goes looking for it, it's going to go back to the user directory to find the one. So that writing it back to that central location, everyone will be able to find that. The textiles.4D file, it basically just looks like this and shows 12D basically what's that the font type's getting ready in at and exporting out as and what names to use. So that's, that's those two file types. So I hope that helps you with loading new fonts within 12D.